Our heart, our lungs, our kidneys, these are all organs that keep our bodies going. Yeah, but what if we told you could live without several of them? Health reporter Haley Hernandez with uh, just how many we don't really need. Haley, good morning. Good morning, guys. So, you know, this is important to know, and especially if you've ever considered being a live donor, as in donating one to someone in organ failure. The human body is made up of about 79 organs, but do all of them perform vital functions? You could live without a lung, right? One kidney. It's true, there are several organs that you can live without. For instance, you only need one lung. If you have a lung removed, you'll lose about 35% of the volume of air you exhale in a second, but breathing is still possible. Another organ you don't need, your stomach. If it's removed, surgeons can connect your esophagus with your small intestine, and you can still eat solid foods, just less of them. You can also live without your spleen, an organ that normally filters blood, but if you have it taken out, you're more likely to get sick. Many people know your appendix isn't necessary for survival. Most think it serves no purpose at all, but recent studies think the appendix might play a role in the immune system. And you've probably heard that you don't need both of your kidneys. That's why you can donate one while you're alive. Your gallbladder is also not an essential organ. If it's removed, your liver can perform the job without it. Now, you can also survive without your bladder or colon. And while you cannot live without your liver, you can live with just part of it. Your liver is the only organ in your body that can regrow after parts of it have been removed or damaged. In fact, it can grow back to its full size in just months.